Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us this week. I hope that you are paying attention to the signs of the times that are all around us, because what is happening in our world, what has happened in just recent days with uh, the caucuses happening in Iowa and uh, the continuation of the war in Israel, literally our president hanging up on the prime minister, Mr. Netanyahu, uh, several days ago, uh, what's happening in Russia, the elections happening in Taiwan and multiple other places. Uh, we're watching our world that is uh, literally, in some cases, on fire with crime going on, the border uh, that is wide open and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people coming across the border. There are signs, I believe, of the imminent return of Jesus Christ all around us. And I want to draw your attention uh, briefly here today from Matthew chapter 24, where the Bible says this in verse 43, but know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Now listen, verse 44, therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. This is a very important passage of scripture in light of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I could sit here today and give you multiple signs that are taking place, but probably one that I want to zero in on here today that takes us from the days of Noah. The Bible says that they were eating and drinking and giving in marriage and so forth. Basically, he was saying that people were ignoring the fact that Jesus or that the flood was going to come at any moment. And uh, as a result of that, they were just going about their business as if uh, no calamity, no judgment, nothing was going to take place regardless of what the righteous man Noah preached. Let me take it to today. We're watching all of the signs that are taking place all around us. And the fact is, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus could come at any moment. And in this passage of scripture, we are admonished to be ready, consider what's taking place uh, know the signs, know what's taking place around us, and continue diligently to watch for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just a few things to bring to your attention because the Bible said here, if the goodman of the house, if the person who was taking care of the house, uh, the household leader, whoever that it may be, uh, was paying attention, uh, they wouldn't have allowed the thief to come in. What does that mean? It means that he needed to stay awake long enough. It means that he needed to keep his mind alert and his eyes open. Uh, it means to look and listen for the signs and the sounds of someone uh, coming in the window, coming in the door, trying to break into the house. It meant to keep themselves active long enough, or in the translation here, to stand guard long enough to make sure that no one uh, would break into the house. The analogy is, is that the uh, time is coming, the Lord is coming in an hour that we think not. Consider this. Consider the fact in Noah's day that he preached for uh, approximately 120 years, built an ark in their face, uh, watched. In fact, I believe that many of the people who perished in the flood actually helped Noah accomplish the purpose of God. And yet when the time was coming for them to get on board the ark, they refused to do that. They laughed it off. They scoffed. This is exactly the signs that Jesus said himself would take place in the last days. Men would be scoffers uh, in the last days. They would uh, act like that the coming of the Lord and the preaching of the rapture, the preaching of the imminent return of Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, as Titus says, is just not going to take place. And if that wasn't enough, you've got religious leaders that are writing it off as well, not even preaching about the coming of the Lord or the, uh, the imminency of Jesus' return. And yet... Jesus said, I am coming back. That's two things you can make sure of. He's coming back and he's coming in an hour that most people are not even thinking. Those that are uncertain, those that are unconcerned, uh, he's going to catch them like a thief, the Bible says. So my admonition for you today here on Prophecy Files Briefing is whatever you do, be ready, stay ready, keep looking for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in an hour that we think not, just like now, when everybody's mind is busy about elections and wars and rumors of wars and the economy and everything else is going on. He said in that moment, make sure that you keep on looking, stand guard, watch, be awake, 
for the time is coming when Jesus will return in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Are you ready? If you're not, get ready now. Stay ready and keep looking for Jesus Christ's return. Until the next time we get together around God's word like this, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.